freak accident. That's what a woman calls it when her husband dug a tunnel at a local beach and sand collapsed around it. Happened yesterday in St. John's County on Crescent Beach. Jessica Clark has learned more about what actually happened and how rescue workers were prepared to help. Every day. Jennifer Kraft and Nancy Craig walk Crescent Beach every day. They say they saw a family having fun Sunday afternoon here. Oh yeah, they were having a great yeah. time. If it was the same family, they were in the they were in the water. 35-year-old Lee Goggin and his family from Texas and Oklahoma were enjoying the beach this weekend. Goggin then did something unusual. He started digging a hole or tunnel into this sand dune and it eventually collapsed around him. And according to the police report, before the sand collapsed, at one point there was a child who even climbed into the tunnel and then back out. Jeremy Robshaw with St. John's County Fire Rescue says the tunnel went at an angle. Again, if, if you kind of picture the dune structure here, this bottom, this being the actual bottom, they went down this way. Was it underground? Yeah. It was, he was underground. Uh, yes, I mean, again, beach here, dune here, down this way. Deputies and fire rescue had to carefully dig him out. We know they encountered the uh, the victim's head and neck area approximately three feet into the, to the hole, um, but his torso and the rest of his body was essentially vertically down in the hole an approximate another four to five feet. Rob Shaw so, says it's rare for people to dig a tunnel into the beach dune, especially one that's big enough that they're actually going inside of. Um, it appears that was the case here. And it turns out St. John's County has actually trained for rescuing people out of beach sand. To my knowledge, this, that was the first time we had a, a true collapse that occurred on our beach um, where we had to do an extrication. Goggin was rushed to the hospital. His wife said Monday morning he had a heartbeat but could not breathe on his own. The police report says Goggin dug the hole for recreation, but Rob Shaw warns against it. Our sand, especially here, is, is incredibly unstable. so. You know, while it looks sturdy and strong and all this, it, it, it's not. As for Kraft and Craig, they feel so badly for the family. Just a tragic end to a, what should have been a beautiful day. Yeah, a beautiful day at the beach. In St. John's County, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side.